Breaking news, my lovely, wonderful people. Edo State Governance Sofa, Asobaseki, and Philly Shaibo continue in their reef. You know, see, so they say when two elephants fight, now the grand they suffer. Now, what did they happen for Edo State right now? We may they talk so. Edo State, now, now the people call it suffer put. What no Baseki go do? He said, what he go concentrate on the leadership. He don't live and now they fight, Philly, they face Philly Shaibo. So they, they make sure say they deal with their self and everything. Now, those ones now, you know, our brother now, do they do? Instead of ensuring, say, he face the most important thing, you know, getting things done properly, decently, and in order. He don't leave that one now to, you know, to, to fight in Philly Shaibo. Then guess what? If that happens, now the people of Edo State now lose. Do you understand me? Exactly. Where he should be, even Philly Shaibo should be planning, trying to look into things, to get things done for the people. All that has been left aside and what is now paramount is the fact that you know people are beginning to you know when, when people they fight themselves now what did they happen with this please don't forget to give us a thumbs up like us share subscribe let's get all the details edo governance suffers as obaseki filish aibos succession fight fosters tongues are waggling over the series of drama in edo state due to the succession battle between Governor Gordon Obaseki and his deputy, Felix Shwaibo, ahead of 2024 governorship election in Edo State. Political prejudice said the rift between the French Tom Folds is affecting governance in the states as the two, two top politicians who are supposed to deliver dividends of democracy are dogging it out, dragging themselves and trying very hard to get on one another. Our correspondent gathered that the bones of the bone of contention is Felix Shaibu's ambition to contest the governorship election and succeed his principal on the platform of the People's Democratic Party PDP. Analysts, however, said Obaseki believed that Felix Shaibu was cutting his his previous enemy and was working with Adam Soshomole, including traditional rulers, with the aim of getting support to actualize his ambition. Yes, Oshomole is supporting Philip Shwaibo, and this is where the real problem lies. It was gathered that although Governor Baseki was not disposed to his deputies succeeding him in 2024, a source close to the duo said, Shaibo's romance with certain traditional rulers has worsened the state relationship. This is what is going on. Things began to fall apart when Obaseki accused Philip Shaibo of perfecting plans to join the All Progressive Congress to actualize his ambition as soon as our brother Oshomole became a senator and Tinubu won. Philip Shaibo saw that as his escape route to him, for him to succeed Obaseki and become the governor of the state. It was said to have informed Philly Shaibo that he was picking his successor from Edo Central for fairness and equality, although there is no clear court arrangement on zoning of the governorship ticket in the state. As the reef is widening the gap between the duo, Obaseki has accused Philly Shaibo of manipulating a do youth council election in pursuit of his selfish ambition to become governor. Shaibu walked behind me in an attempt to foster his ambition through the youth council. The reason my deputy governor manipulated your election is because he has political ambition and thought he could control and use the council to achieve his political goals, the governor alleged. Speaking at a campaign rally ahead of the September 2nd, local government election in the state. Obaseki said, my deputy has become a desperate, has become so desperate to become the next governor and is ready to do anything, including carrying out a coup that will affect and ensure he kick me out of office and become the governor. Hence, he went to the court quickly. What struck me was when his action after the pro pro pronouncement of the Edo State House of Assembly and preparing for elected officers he was in abuja and came he was in abuja and came to tell us that he he thought he could outshine me he went ahead after the pronouncement of the edo assembly 
and preparing for elected officers. He went to Abuja and came back that day. I am the chief security officer of the state, so I got an information I needed, but I kept quiet and used it quietly. The governor claimed that Shaibu wanted to instill, inst install the Speaker of the House of Assembly during the election, working with APC and five of his lawyer PDP members. He added that it was one of the reasons he barred the deputy governor from entering his house during the meeting. He ensured that Philip Shaibu retained his position as deputy governor after they had moved from APC amidst the crisis in the run-up to the 2020 governorship polls. Obaseki said he made a lot of sacrifice for Philip Shaibu to remain the deputy. PDP did not want it, but I, I insisted. Ask him the sacrifice I made. He said the deputy governor never discussed with his discussed his governorship ambition with him. Added that Philip Shwaibo went to Abuja and didn't tell me, only for me to see him on the social media and television as the video was all over the place. He was going around boasting to leaving the party. Before now, he had been going around saying he was consulting. We had a meeting and I urged them to ensure we finish strong as whatever we do now will help us sell, will sell the next candidate successfully. I charge them all to come together to solidify the party as the PDP will produce the next governor of the state. He told me he was going on holiday and I approved it for him as usual. He didn't tell me he was traveling, but the next thing I saw was the court section that he was, he, he want, that he was to be impeached. I called the speaker to find out from him but he said there was nothing like that going on. What bothers me is for him to swear an affidavit that we stopped him from coming into ESCO. This is wrong information to the public of to the public space. Reacting to the alleged disposition to add Boston, Philip Shaibu said political jeopardy has been going on and the governor was in view to cause him not to benefit from what he has been suffering from. It is privilege to serve as the governor and, the de and deputy, and I have consistently within the last seven years of our work to continue to give Edu the best. But Felix Shaibu wants to make people see me as a bad person. So uh, both of them, they've led governance now to fighting one another. And this is what happens when we see people uh, wanting to gain power at all costs. Anyway, my lovely, wonderful people, what do you think? These are some of the things going on and we need to take a stand. Nigeria must move forward, but we cannot continue with people who want to get in by hook or by crook. God bless. Have a good day. Bye for now.